This video is about explaining and trying to demonstrate why Switzerland is the freest country in the world, why the Swiss people are the freest people in the world, with a huge difference. And I'm going to try to explain why the Freedom House rankings are wrong with respect to Switzerland. The Freedom House rankings put Switzerland behind Sweden, Denmark, and a few other countries in freedoms. They talk about freedom of speech and political freedom. But the Swiss have roughly the same freedom of speech and the same political freedom that those other countries have. But they have one political freedom which is very different and that none of those other countries have and it is direct democracy. The Swiss people, they have political freedom to express themselves, they have the freedom to elect their representatives, but above all, they have the freedom to decide. They have the freedom to decide. The Swiss people decide policies, they decide laws, they decide changes to the constitution. This is why the Swiss people are far freer than the people of Sweden in any other country because they have freedom to decide they are free to decide which way the country goes they are free to decide which laws stay which laws will go they are free to decide which policies stay which policies go they are free to decide telling the politicians they are free to decide to make the decision forcing the elected politicians to pass laws and to pass policies even if the politicians do not want to, even if all the politicians in the parliament and the executive of Switzerland, together, they said, we do not want to do what the people want us to do, they will have to do it. The only people who could overturn the referendum of the people, once the new law is in place, is people again, organizing another referendum to overturn the previous law or the previous policy. So Freedom House, I don't know if it is because they do not know about Swiss direct democracy or they pretend they do not know. And the same thing happens with the democracy index of The Economist. They rank Switzerland more or less like Freedom House behind a few other countries. Well, those rankings are wrong because the Swiss people are roughly as free to think and to express themselves politically as any of those countries. But they are head and shoulders above them because they have the freedom to decide. The Swiss people are the only people who clearly have more power than the politicians at the local level, at the canton, which will be a state or province, and at the national level. They have more power. So please, Freedom House and The Economist, change your rankings. Call them something else, but if you call them Democracy, Quality of Democracy Index, or Freedom Index, please, you have to put Switzerland as number one. As number one. You could say in some specific issues, Switzerland may rank behind. But overall, the Swiss people are freer because they have the freedom to decide. What other freedom more important than that one could be? It's even more important than freedom of expression. Because if you have freedom to decide, it's implied you have freedom of expression. So I just wanted to say these words because too many people are making rankings and I don't know if it is because they do not know or because they want to manipulate. I don't know if they want to stretch the life of representative democracy and they want to put representative democracy on an equal footing with direct democracy. It is not. Representative democracy is to direct democracy what absolute power is to representative democracy. Representative democracy is a huge improvement over other systems because it was the first time when it happened in the modern world that the people could elect their rulers. It was not as good as what the Greeks had thousands of years ago because they already had direct democracy. But anyway, we sort of picked up the idea and in the Enlightenment, the idea that the people should decide who rules started to catch on and now everybody basically uh, wants to have that. Even the Chinese Communist Party calls itself a democracy. Also, they recognize it's a dictatorship democracy. Anyway, it's a bit of a joke. 
So uh, it was a big improvement to have the right to decide who rules the country. The problem is that representative democracy, for a number of reasons, but I think the main one being it gives too much power to the politicians, to the elected politicians, gives them all the legislative and all the executive power, and gives zero power in those areas to the people. While direct democracy, suicide style, keeps the politicians, but gives the people the power to overrule the politicians, to change the constitution on their own. So it's about time we have a ranking that reflects the real ranking of democracy and freedom in the world. And the number one country is Switzerland. Perhaps should be the one in its own category, perhaps followed, followed by Taiwan, which is making great progress in the area of direct democracy. And then we could mention perhaps some American states which have direct democracy, unfortunately, only at the state level. So the Americans, the Americans living in California and in other states that they have direct democracy, unfortunately, they are not really free because they cannot decide anything at the national level. At the national level, the federal government has them all under the thumb, at least between elections. I just wanted to say these words. If you want me to speak about direct democracy, to debate, to give a speech, anything about direct democracy, I will be happy to contribute. Because I think direct democracy needs to be better known. I have no doubt that when people become aware of direct democracy, they will demand direct democracy, just like the Swiss did 100, more than 150 years ago. To make this easier for everybody, my videos are clo closed captioned in many languages. So if when you watch the video on YouTube, you click on the toothed wheel, then you will have an opportunity there to select CC in many languages. Thank you very much.